This is Cougar Post Match Live. Post match coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by the BYU Store, official outfitter of BYU Athletics, and by DoTerra, the official sponsor of the BYU women's soccer season. Now let's get you back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, so welcome back to Santa Clara. We're at Stephen Stadium, Buckshaw Field. Greg Grubel with you. And what a scintillating event, uh, affair it was tonight as BYU wins it by a score of 2-1. to one. Uh, Santa Clara in this game opened first. Uh, Izzy DeQuilla scored in the fifth minute. BYU was down 1-0 at that time. Didn't stay 1-0 for long. It was the 11th minute when the Cougars equalized. Joe Cedar, 25 yards, plays Felino. One touch, Coolahan. Coolahan into the area. Wide right to Wade. Wade across. A loose ball on the six and poked home. And it's Michaela Coulihan for a ninth straight game. The Cougars square the match at one in the 11th. So 1-1 one, is our score. 1-1 one, all the way till halftime. We hit the break with the score deadlocked one all. Then it was the second half. One goal was scored, and it came off the boot of Cam Tucker. It was the game winner. Here's how it sounded. Turnbow, or uh, Glenn gave away to Peterson. Peterson, a through ball to Cam Tucker. Cam Tucker into the 18, shoots and scores! Cameron Tucker puts the Cougars ahead in the 57th minute. Through ball down the middle, and Cam Tucker slots home, goes right post, and the Cougars go up 2-1. to one. All right, that was it. That was all the scoring for BYU. The Cougars win for a first time ever at Santa Clara. 2-1 is our final. You heard there in the opening call, Michaela Coulihan scoring for a ninth consecutive game. Not since Shauna Robach in the late 1990s that a BYU player ever scored in nine straight games. And Michaela Coulihan joins us now here in the press box. Kayla, congratulations to you personally and to the team on a, on a huge win. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. And uh, the pressure mounted uh, with every minute passing there in the second half. Um, you know, playing with a 2-1 lead is, is, is it's comfortable, but it doesn't feel like the game is won as powerful and, and potent as Santa Clara is. What was the team's mindset playing with a one-goal lead late? Yeah, just as you said, uh, Santa Clara is a really good team, so... It was just kind of a good test for us, but I think we responded great. I think we looked better in that second half than we've looked all season, and we had pressure on us. We're, our backs were against the wall, and we were we did awesome. We carried that lead and were able to maintain it. So I'm not sure if you agree, but I felt like the first five or ten minutes probably did belong to Santa Clara. I felt like you were on the back heel a little bit, but then you settled in, and I really felt from about ten minutes on that you guys did what you wanted to do, kind of controlled the match and kind of had it where you wanted. What do you think? Yeah, to be honest, we came out a little flat. It was it was kind of scary there for a minute, and they got that first goal early, and I think that kind of woke us up, and uh, we were able to respond well, which was good. But, but yeah, we, we needed to come out a little bit harder. Were you mindful of the fact that you had a streak going, goal-scoring streak? <laughs> uh, I knew that I'd scored a few <laughs> games in a row. I didn't necessarily keep track of it. but It got to seven, it got to eight, and now it gets to nine. And, uh, you know, Shauna Robach, I mean, you probably know the name a little bit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, she, she, she scored 94 goals in her BYU career. The second place is 52. So you <laughs> see how much of a gap there is. <laughs> yeah. Shoshana did some, did some amazing things, and you're in some pretty elite territory as a result. What is it like to be someone that is finding the ball at her boot with chances to score every game, and you're seeing the back of the net so frequently now? How does it feel? It feels good. I mean, every game is just another opportunity to go out and play with uh, my team, who's who's done some amazing things this year, and I'm just happy to be a part of it and try to represent BYU and you know see what we can do. Cam's really coming alive lately too. Uh, last couple of weeks, her game is just um, things are clicking for her a lot more than they were you know say the weeks prior to that. Uh, what can you say about Cam, who scores the game winner tonight? Yeah, great job to Cam today. She really held their back line accountable. Um, she was getting balls in behind, making getting dangerous opportunities, and it's it's awesome to see her as well as the rest of our attack kind of get it all together right when it's an uh, important time of the season. You had Petey starting it right back uh, for a starter who wasn't with you on the trip, so she had to respond. You get Lava playing basically the entire second half at center back when the pressure was going to be on her. A lot of different players are responding and, and stepping into roles that require a lot from them. You're getting it from a lot of places right now. Yeah, I think that's kind of the story of this season. We have a lot. We had a lot of big shoes to fill coming off last year, and I think – People are starting to respond really well. We have people filling big spots and coming out hard every game, and it's awesome to see. I think we're, like I said, peaking at the right time. Okay, the Santa Clara thing. Uh, as much as Jen Rockwood's teams have done over the years, for whatever reason, a win had never happened here. It's crazy to think about. You know, the BYU had never gotten a win here to begin with. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be part of the first ever BYU team to win at Santa Clara? Super exciting. I think uh, 
we all knew that was the case coming in. First of all, we lost to them, so we had enough of a kind of motivation to come beat them. But also the fact that no teams ever, no BYU teams ever beat them here was big. And um, that's what Jen said to me at halftime. She said, this is the year, let's get it. And I'm, I'm really glad we were able to go get that for her. First ever night game here for BYU. First ever three points here for BYU. And it wasn't a conference game, so whether or not you get a piece of the league title, that, that remains to be seen. Santa Clara is kind of in the driver's seat, but... Regardless of that, this is a postseason resume game, top 10 game on the road, huge for your NCAA tournament hopes. Yeah, for sure, and that's that's what we all knew coming into it. Like I said, uh, backs against the wall, kind of just we got to win win every game. Every game's a must win, so I think that we came out strong, and it was, it was good for us. Okay, you guys are going to stay here and go from the South Bay to the East Bay, and you've got St. Mary's on Saturday. Uh, you get to enjoy the next couple of days. You'll practice, of course, but you get to practice the smiles on your faces because of what happened tonight. Yeah, I, starting off the long trip with a win is always a good thing. I think we'll all have a lot of fun the next couple of days. Well, what a great win for uh, for the program, a milestone night for you, and we'll, we'll tell you right now it's obvious that no BYU players ever scored in 10 consecutive games. <laughs> I'm hoping the ball ends up in your boot where you want it on Saturday afternoon. It'll be a lot of fun to call that, too. So I hope that happens, whether or not it does. Uh, congrats on, on putting yourself in the history books tonight. In a lot of ways, you as a player and BYU as a team. Way to go, Kayla. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. All right, it. that's Michaela Coolahan. Coming up, it is Jennifer Rockwood on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Tanner Tom. Welcome back to Cougar Postmatch Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Time now for our Zions Bank post-match interview brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. And this had been a challenge that uh, the Cougars had had a hard time tackling over the years in terms of getting three points. BYU never won a game at Santa Clara until tonight. And it's a top 10 win to boot. BYU 2 and Santa Clara 1. And a great coaching matchup. A great head-to-head team matchup. Uh, Coach Jen Rockwood and Jerry Smith combining for near 1,000 wins in their careers. So a lot going on tonight, and it ends up with uh, BYU getting a full three. And the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood, on career win number 405, joins us now in the press box. Jen, congratulations on a milestone win for the Cougs tonight. Thanks. It was a big one for sure. I mean, we knew coming in here, you know, a top 10 team. Santa Clara is always such a great program. Um, and But we knew we had an opportunity here to try and make a statement, especially for the NCAA committee and trying to get into one of those at-large spots potentially or, or still even a, an automatic There's still you know a lot left in the conference season Um, but just a great opportunity for for our girls to come in and really really battle against a very good and very talented and well-coached team yeah whether or not you end up with a piece of the conference crown Santa Clara will help determine that themselves Uh, this is a game that the committee you know clearly looks at as as you going on the road challenging yourself out of league knowing that you actually scheduled an extra game against a tough team away from home a top 10 team so when you play at USC and you play at UCLA and you play at Missouri and you come to Santa Clara in a non-league game the committee knows what your intent is and getting results is just so massive for this team it's a great portfolio game yeah it's something we talked about before uh, before coming over here for the game tonight was you know we've we've put ourselves out there we we chose to go out on the road and really challenge ourselves and this is where we feel like that experience has paid off for us uh, to come in on the road and, and, and play a top 10 team and get the result. And I'm um, really proud of the way the girls really battled. I, I think, uh, you know, we've, we've played really well these last few games um, and, and found our confidence and kind of found our rhythm and, um, you know, got a great starting group and got some players coming off the bench that are, are giving us a huge lift. So um, just lots of, to look forward to. We'll certainly enjoy this uh, tonight, but then prepare for a tough St. Mary's team who, you know, just beat San Francisco on the road. Yeah. Uh, you might have been back heel for the first few minutes of the match. <laughs> But then settled in, I thought, pretty quickly. And as I shared with Kayla, you know, maybe the last 80 minutes kind of belonged to BYU run of play and control and composure. Uh, I just felt it was a really, really solidly played match by your team after giving up the early goal, not panicking, scoring early enough still to feel like you're right mm-hmm. back in it. And then just kind of, I felt that second goal was coming. It was coming. Yeah. And, you know, you don't know why those things happen at the beginning. It's happened to us many times on this field coming right in and, and giving up a goal nice and early, but I thought it showed a lot of resilience um, and a lot of belief in this team to come back and to get it right back. And I felt at halftime, I think the girls felt at halftime that this was our game and, and we had a good opportunity to get the result. Um, and they just, you know, it was a very physical game, um, quite a battle. Um, um, both teams were, you know, I think given everything they got, you could tell players were spent, um, people coming in and out off the bench um, and just, 
you know, is a great soccer match tonight. 22 fouls in this game, 13 against BYU, 9 against Santa Clara, 5 corners, 3 for BYU, 10 offsides flag, 6 against BYU. The shot tally, 12 for BYU, 5 on frame, and 7 for Santa Clara, 2 on frame. BYU wins it by a score of 2-1. to one. Michaela Coulihan scores for a ninth straight game. Mm-hmm. Only one player has ever done that at BYU, and that was Shona, Shauna Robach in the mm-hmm. late 90s. Yeah, I mean, uh, Kayla is just coming out and doing so much for us. I mean, you just want the ball at her feet, uh, really anywhere on the field, <laughs> whether it's at our defensive end or our attacking end, you want her... Um, you know, making those decisions. But, but the other thing that Kayla is, is such a great defender, and she came up with some huge steals uh, in that game, and she just gets so beat up. Um, I'm just surprised that she keeps getting up after <laughs> every time she's taken down. But, man, what a warrior she is. Uh, she just keeps getting better and better, and is a tremendous leader on this team. And whether or not a switch has been flipped, uh, the way Cam Tucker is putting herself in places right now to contribute is, is a massive part of what's happening for you. Yeah, you know, Cam's just running hard. I mean, that's what she does. She runs hard defensively, and we know that if we can find Cam a couple times in the box, that she's going to make something happen, and that was a huge goal. Um, you know, great pass from Breck. You know, again, our bench coming off with Rachel and Brecken and Lava and um, Abby, they offered so much um, tonight, and uh, you need that. Um, especially this time of the season. So goals for Kayla in nine straight games, goals for Cam now in three straight games, and she's added three assists along with this hot stretch as well. You mentioned Lava. You put a freshman there at center back. You start a freshman in Brooke Hale. You bring a freshman in at center back. A lot of mm-hmm. pressure against a really good team, and she responded, as did Petey, mm-hmm. getting a start at right back for Olivia tonight. Yeah, absolutely. It's a tough position to be in, but... Um, you know, they, they battled, and again, it's, it's a very physical game. Santa Clara has such great attacking play. I mean, they have players good everywhere, but they're especially dangerous, and the physicality of the game and not backing down, um, you know, I think that Lava showed a, a, a great sense of uh, the ability to battle, and, and that's what we know she was capable of, and she got hurt right at the beginning of the season and, and you know, is, is kind of gradually working her way back into uh, that experience and finding her confidence, and then Petey and Josie on both uh, sides of our back line did a great Great job. Well, these look like uh, two tournament teams tonight. Absolutely. I think there's no question that uh, both of us are, are well-deserved um, tournament teams. We hope we can both get there and maybe one more. When you got a light, when you got a long road trip like this, when you're on the, going to be on the road for four or five nights, really nice to get the early win. <laughs> so it's just going to make the next few days go smoother and uh, and get ready for, again, a tough game on Saturday. Uh, mm-hmm. St. Mary's, that result at USF, opened some eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, USF has a win against Gonzaga. We know how Gonzaga has played this year. So uh, no easy ones here, and you got to get ready for a tough one Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to actually walk off this field not frustrated like I have so many times <laughs> in my career. So, uh, again, we talked about doing something that no other BYU soccer team has done and, and that's a huge step you know kind of get that monkey off your back and I think it again brings confidence to these girls um, and we've got a great mixture of older experienced players but some great youth and a lot to look forward to 18 days ago in Provo BYU scored in the first five minutes and then Santa Clara scored the final two here yeah. mm-hmm. Santa Clara scores in the first five minutes and you got to score the final two and flip it around and get out of here with three points for the first time ever it's so crazy to think about as good as your teams have been over the yep. years this has been the one place mm-hmm. and so it's a, it's, a, it's a weight off the back shirt certainly and, and you go forward absolutely uh, looking forward uh, like I said we'll enjoy enjoy this tonight and um, recover obviously is the name of the game um, and then get ready for a, another match on Saturday well congratulations so happy for you and the entire team such a fun match to call great tension great build up great goals a lot of fun in every way so jennifer congratulations to you and the team as byu goes to nine and three overall stays five and one in the wcc as this was a non-conference game but uh, huge for the postseason portfolio no doubt about that santa clara loses for the first time this year they go to five and one they had not lost a game yet clearly not lost a game at home Mm -hmm. and you got that done as well Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Jen. All right, that is Jennifer Rockwood, and that's going to do it for tonight's BYU Women's Soccer Broadcast. As the players walk off the pitch, that means i got to pack up here and get on the bus with them. i got to hurry. So we'll say goodnight. Thanks to our crew back at BYU Radio, our engineers, Barry Squires and Sean Fay, our control board operator, Braden Flint, our coordinating producer, Terry South, assistance as well from assistant station manager, Sean O'Neill. For those folks, my name is Greg Rubel, thanking Michaela Coulihan and Jennifer Rockwood for joining me postgame. So once again, I'm saying... From Santa Clara, my name is Greg Rubel. And in the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Women's Soccer. Cougs win 2-1 to one on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Coverage of today's match has been brought to you by the BYU Store, official outfitter of BYU Athletics. 
doTERRA, the official sponsor of the BYU women's soccer season. By Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. BYU Women's Soccer is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Keith Vorkink, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director for Corporate Sponsorship Casey Stoffer. BYU Women's Soccer is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.